Hey, it's Professor S. In my last video, I introduced you to the concept of isomers. And I really, in that video, I stayed focused on the definition of what it means for molecules to be isomers, to have the same molecular formula, but different conformation. But then I also emphasized how having that different conformation produces different molecules with different chemical properties. And in the case of biology, that means different cellular functions. For the next five minutes or so, I want to talk about the different types of isomers or the different ways in which particles can have the same molecular formula, but different conformation. There are two main groups I want to discuss. There are the stereoisomers, and then there are the structural isomers, and that's where I want to begin with the structural isomers. Now with those structural isomers, these are particles that truly have completely different structures. They have the same chemical formula, the same molecular formula, but different bond arrangements. The parts are put together in completely different bond sequences, so they're just obviously completely different molecules. For example, here's glucose. Glucose is a monosaccharide sugar. It's got the formula C6H1206, and here we can see it forms a hexagonal ring. Now next to it is fructose, also chemical formula C6H1206, but unlike glucose, fructose has a pentagonal ring structure, a five-sided as opposed to a six-sided ring. Totally different bond arrangements with the same atoms, and so they are structural isomers. It's fairly simple. The other group were the stereoisomers, so let me talk about those now. Stereoisomers are isomers in which the atoms have the same bond sequence. The atoms are laid out in more or less the same order, but in different, different spatial positions. The spatial arrangement of the bonds is different in certain locations, not the overall bond layout. Now, if that sounds contradictory or confusing because you're new to the language, no worries. What I want to do is show you examples of this. There are two types of stereoisomers. There are enantiomers and there are geometric isomers. Let's look at some geometric isomers first. Now, in this case, we're looking at isomers where they are different based on the position of particles on either side of a carbon to carbon double bond. When we get this planar structure of a carbon joined to another carbon by a double covalent bond, each of the carbons on either side will be connected to two additional groups through covalent bonding. And we tend to focus on either hydrogen atoms or what we call side chains, R, the letter R groups. Now, what we're really interested in is just where these two things are located. Are the two hydrogens, as we see here, located on opposite carbons, but on the same side of the double bond? If they're located on the same side of the double bond, we call that a cis geometric isomer or a cis isomer. The cis here refers to the fact that the hydrogens are on the same side of the double bond as each other. By contrast, we get an isomer from this when the hydrogens are on opposite sides of the double bond, as we can now see. That is what's called a trans geometric isomer, where the hydrogens are trans opposite or across from each other rather than cis on the same side of the double bond. Now, if you're looking at this going, why does this matter? Remember that this is a planar structure. So let's look at an example. In the case of retinol, retinol is a molecule found in the rod cells of your eye. It's a, a pigment that's located within a protein molecule called rhodopsin, and retinol is light sensitive, and it alters, alternates between a cis and a trans isomer. Now, what we're seeing here is the cis isomer. You see the tail coming off the retinal molecule over there. It's bent, right? It goes out and it has a bend in it. Let's take that double bond where the bend exists and change it to a trans isomer. Now notice as soon as that happens, it goes from a bent tail to a straight tail structure. So having a cis versus a trans isomer in the middle of a sequence of carbon to carbon bonds creates bends or kinks in linear structures like tails that change the shape of the molecule and produce geometric isomerism. So that's one type of stereoisomer. Now let's end by looking at enantiomers. Enantiomers are molecules where the two molecules have essentially the same superficial bond arrangements, 
but they're actually mirror images of each other. Uh, mirror images kind of like uh, the left hand and the right hand are mirror images of each other, right? These structures are mirror images. They have all the same parts and the same basic arrangement, but because they're mirror images, they aren't actually the same thing. They're different molecules. They have a different shape, different conformation. And if you're not clear about this, let me end by giving you a quick demonstration of a couple mirror image molecules. Right here, I have two stick figure molecules that are mirror images of each other. Now it's very easy to look at them and say, well, they're the same. They're not, they're mirror images, and they're in three-dimensional space, so uh, let me show you that, in fact, they are not the same, they are mirror images. Let's just spin the one around and see what happens. Now, as it spins, what do you see? There is no position this molecule can rotate into where it's in the exact same colored pattern as its partner. They are mirror images of each other. They are enantiomers and therefore they are isomers. They're not the same molecule. one more time. I try really hard here on the Sci-Fi Videos channel to keep my videos instructional time under five minutes. I don't always succeed and so when videos like this one that run close to or over six minutes I just want to say at the end joking aside long credits aside uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see other videos as I put them out. So I'm going to be cranking them out continually and I uh, hope to see you again soon.